welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D, and I'm Glenda Davis, aka Mama D. Now, today we're going to be making some old-fashioned tea cakes. That's right, old-fashioned tea cakes, but only I'm going to add a little special twist and use some minced ginger. Yep, I found it at my favorite store, Jungle Gems, and we're going to put a little of this in there and see what kind of, um, what kind of results we can get. Okay, it's always fun to create your own recipes. I mean, all recipes started somewhere with a thought and then a solution. Okay, so I want them to taste um, gingery, not like gingerbread, but just have a little ginger kick. So let's try it. Now, the recipe that I'm going to use comes from Mama's Tea Cakes 101. It says 101 delicious soul food desserts and this is written by Wilbert Jones he's also the author of the healthy soul food cookbook now I've had this book for years and when I read this I really never paid attention to uh, the fact that he was the author of another book so I ordered this one too I think this might be out of print but uh, this is a paper bag and I did order it from Amazon um, yeah, so it says that it's been updated here, but I'm not sure. If you want the book, you might try the library or go on Amazon uh, if you're interested. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get to it. Now, before we do, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, all right, well, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what we're going to need. We're going to need one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, two large eggs, room temperature, a tea, two teaspoons of baking powder, but I couldn't find my baking powder, so I'm using one teaspoon of baking soda. We need one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and we're going to use two tablespoons of whipping cream and then for my special touch i'm going to use one tablespoon of the minced ginger okay and then we need three and a half cups of flour okay now what we do first is put the oil and the sugar in a bowl together and we mix it until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so now let's get our sugar in and that one cup of oil. I was a little surprised that they asked for uh, this vegetable oil, but um, we're gonna see. Okay. He says one cup of vegetable shortening, not vegetable oil. I think he meant like Crisco. And I done dumped this sugar and this oil in here. Okay. Let's just see what's going to happen. Let's just, it's nothing but ingredients. Here we go. Because this ain't going to cream. This ain't nothing but oil and sugar. Ain't no sense in the chicken. It's going to cream. Let's see what happens. That ain't good time.
I'm just going to go ahead and put that ginger in here now. I'm just going to do my own thing from here. Because I don't know what this is going to be like. My kids always said I should do a blooper. <laughs> going to get this uh, soda into the flour. I'm going to just mix it up a little bit. Okay, put a little in a, at a time, a half of it. I'll make a dough. I'm actually stressing uh, the mixer. Let me turn that down and get some of that. It's, it's actually turned to dough. I'm surprised. And it is stressing. The mixer is so thick. bring you in a little closer so y'all can see this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and make sure that it's set. Get that oil and that sugar and everything to kind of set a little more because he says to roll it in balls. I may not be able to roll it in balls, but I can spoon it. And because they're supposed to spread out anyway. I tasted some of the batter and it actually is delicious. <laughs> I don't know. I might be onto something here. Uh, mistake might be a winner. So um, we can see. So we'll be back in about a half an hour after uh, the bath. Okay, so it's been a half an hour and uh, the dough is, is set. It's, it's solid. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to roll it. I'm going to spoon it onto the pan. He says cook it at uh, 325 and put them about an inch and a half apart. Okay. All right, so there we go. This will be the first batch that's going in the oven at 325 for about 10 minutes. And I have another batch is in. Oh, look at the tea cakes. Then I'll clean this pan. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh, I may have to do a um a thumbnail on this one. Y'all see that? O M G. Beauteous. Um, that would be 12 of the regular tea cakes. And now I'm going to do something a little bit different. Let me make these a little bigger. 
Okay, see I didn't have to roll them into balls or anything. I just tried to be consistent with the amount and they spread out on their own. Here I was thinking this was going to be a disaster, a blooper. And it turned out pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if I would change anything. He said shortening that I used the oil and I just felt like, oh, this is not going to be good. But it's it's okay. All right. Now, let's give a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, they all look pretty. Yeah, they all look the same. So what I'm going to do with this with this next batch, I had some leftover holiday ginger from last month. It's there. I got them about mid December, it's mid January. And um, what I'm going to do is take these little holiday fruit candies. I cut them up in some little pieces, and I'm going to put them on top. Okay, and we're going to cook them with the little pieces of ginger on top. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna put these little ginger pieces on top, just like that. And we're gonna cook them in there. And that ought to give us a little candied something. Let's get a small one for him. Okay. See, those are holiday fruit. And that's how we're going to do them. And they'll be ready to go in. And I've been cooking them 12 minutes rather than 10. 12 minutes is working better. Batch of six are out. And I'm telling you, these cookies have the house lit up, smell so good. So I'm going to have to try one. I, I have to eat one right now. So you all can see. Um, that's the texture of the back. And let's break it in half. Look at that. Okay, let's see. Mmm. <laughs> it's got that crunch on the edge. And this is a winner. This is a winner. Now. I don't taste a whole lot of ginger, but it's just, I, I don't know. It's like uh, vanilla. The vanilla really comes forth. I don't taste the, I was thinking that ginger was going to have a different kind of a kick, but it doesn't. It's just a wonderful, soft, <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. These are absolutely wonderful. Mm -mm -mm. So, what we gonna do? We'll get these onto the uh, on the plate. When the next ones come out, they're the ones that have the little ginger candies on top. We're gonna see how those turn out. And, honey, let me tell you, I have enough. This makes about two dozen altogether. It's making about two dozen with the way I did it with the oil. Um, I don't know if I would even change anything. It, it, they're, they're amazing. So, I won't conclude until the other ones come out so you can see the ones with the candies. But, honey, girl, it's your life loving, honey. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we'll be right back in a minute. Okay. Give us about another 10 minutes and the other ones should be out. And if they turned out absolutely wonderful, I can still see the little crystallized sugar on top and they look absolutely wonderful. So I'll be getting these onto the plate and listen, I, I can't get over how I was so dead set on this was a mistake. I was, I was done with myself. Adding that oil and the sugar, I, something told me this ain't going to turn out right, but it did. And that's why sometimes you have to just get your own 
ideas, make your own recipe, and just go for what you know. It's your life. Love it. Make the best of it. Mistakes and all. You never know. Sometimes your mistakes can turn out to just being an awesome uh, invention. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and share it with somebody. And hey, don't forget to join me next time, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Love y'all. Bye-bye. I forgot to taste the one with the candies on it. Woo! It's probably better than the other ones. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> These are absolutely delicious. Delicious. I think the next time I will do them all like this. What a wonderful idea. They taste, what it tastes like to you. It tastes good. All right. It's ooh, it's it's more than good. It is absolutely delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Try some of these. Mm, mm, mm.